exercise is called um, community-based ideas. And what I want you to do is uh, now to draw in a group a map of uh, your uh, place where you live. So it can be Turin, Dublin, or your village. And if you're in an international group, you can do it individually first. But in the training, you won't have that case because you will work with people from your place. So it will be much easier to do it in pairs or in the groups of three. Okay? Um, I will distribute also the uh, black sheet. And um, you place it, if it's a group, you place it in the middle and you can all uh, draw scribbles. Okay? So there's a park in our area called Solitude Park and the young people hang out there and it, it's actually created a lot of fear now where older people don't want to go for a walk because they think these young people are bad and the young people have nowhere to go so if we had a youth cafe where they could sit and drink coffee, have, use Wi-Fi and there's very little jobs for young people so they could be working in it and training and so the similar in your community as well. I think what we, what we were looking at is that in this particular area there's a very diverse community which is really rich and exciting but there is also maybe a, a, a lack of something that brings them, so there are a lot of youth centres but maybe something that brings them together to cooperatively work so we were talking about maybe having a, a cooperative safe space that um, the community can contribute to um, and come together, um, so uh, different practitioners and uh, individuals in the area, um, and uh, yeah, so I guess I get the, so there could be a, a youth cafe that would be part of that, but that it would it would take its own form based on the many different um, challenges that we have mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. um, it also would a uh, particular area we were talking about like how it's perceived from the outside. So while there's amazing things happening, amazing individuals in the area, there's also um, a certain perception of the north side of Dublin. Um, so maybe something that's really inviting and warm and, and spreads the culture, um, then uh, will we'll break down some of those perceptions and barriers. And also it's motivation against us. Okay. Any questions to, to I think there's a comment, you know, um, if so if this is the result, I don't know if this because I didn't work with this particular method before, but um, do you wait till you go around to each group or do you as a trainer then give this group some support and maybe some hero examples or models in the community for this idea. Of no, course, this idea. idea. Yeah. So, do you wait till you hear all the ideas, or uh, as a trainer, do you go and give them advice about this model? It's a question. Do we have competencies for giving advice? I don't Immedi know. Immediately, I mean, right now. Mm. I would tackle it immediately if I had uh, the idea yeah. for this group. 
I would do it immediately, but I think. Uh, well, I would, I, I would just maybe others. It is. Uh, I would maybe just relabel that in in a in a way that everybody could relate to, which is uh, social employment. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what you're. It is. A, so you bring it. That is a great example of social employment. Yeah. So maybe everybody else may have an example of social employment, mm -hmm. right? But it's, it's, it, in that social employment model, it is solving multiple problems, mm -hmm. right? Reducing fear, reducing boredom, reducing uh, conflict in the community with different diverse uh, things. So then, and then I would say, then what would your next steps be, perhaps? So now that you have in mind, is there real estate available? Do you have a spot in mind? And who owns that spot? Is that publicly available spot or privately owned spot? Could you make a persuasive statement and, and stack that simple idea with maybe research that shows what are the number? So then we start with their basic idea, just like you did with the mind map, and we start layering in detail. So you said the problem is? And then you give it a numerical power. There are too many youth that congregate at this park and elderly don't feel safe there anymore. How many elderly would like to walk in the park? How many youth and what time of day are they causing the problem? Then what in the neighborhood is a logical spot? Do you want like a pop up and go away cafe bar? So something very temporary. Do you want to get artists involved and have them do some kind of eco solution? You know? So then you start taking that basic idea and layering in the resources that you know are available. If you don't know, then you just ask them questions so that they take it to the next level later. And that's building on ideas because the session is idea development, okay? Not just an idea and go away, but develop that idea to the next level. So the four words for you guys would be social employment youth cafe. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Four okay. words, social means. employment youth yeah. cafe. So I will write that in my book because there's not much room up there. Yeah. And then I will keep notes for everybody. And these can then be ideas which uh, either um, individuals or groups can follow up on or just leave it uh, because I feel like, but then there could be um, uh, ideas which can be further researched mm -hmm. on, etc. Uh, in groups or by individuals, and maybe if they just abandoned later, and which is also fine. But, uh, and remember always, I think it's really important, the positive and the negative space. So what you did is you presented your idea, right? Which is an answer to something, right? But what you also have related to that are lots of questions. Both are necessary. Because right now you have all those questions in your head and that is such an important step that if you move on without writing down the questions you now need to go answer, you miss an opportunity. So I think that when you have the answers and the questions rise up in layers afterwards, you've got to write those down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they're gone. Because they come very easy when you're in this moment but you're going to move on to another idea later. So, Okay, social employment. Youth camp, youth cafe, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. And I won't make any comments for, until all the groups are gone. Mm -hmm. So then, the group from Turin, there were five people in Turin. So, um, what did you come up with? Is it one idea? Or no, or is it it's possible? different because different mm -hmm. areas, different issues, different. I move to my not I have yes. my issue in my area. There's an older building called Moto Velotomo in English. The Apista. It's a bike uh, racing. Yeah. Indoor, racing. Indoor, no, outdoor. bike racing. Arena. Oh, oh, yeah.
Yeah. Is it outdoor? Yes, it's outdoor. Okay. Okay. Outdoor, but within a structure. I saw that there's a structure. Truck. The truck on the bike. Yeah. Okay. But it's installed is um, derelict. And the municipality doesn't have the money to rebuild, and they want to sell to make a shopping mall. But we, the neighbor, we, we don't want the shopping mall uh, yeah. because in, in Turin, my city, all, all, all these kind of problems are solved with the shopping mall. Shopping. We have a lot of shopping malls, we have enough shopping mall, so we, we, we would like to preserve the sport um, uh, purpose of this uh, building and uh, the proposal is to, to make the, uh, the station for the bike uh, trail Vento, Venezia Torino. It's a new project in Italy to make this route for the bike from Torino to Venezia, to Venice and to make here the main station in Turin with an hostel, a camping, a uh, workshop for the bike, mm. and, so, and the museum of... Uh? And more infrastructure. infrastructure. Mm, just to... Uh, uh, refurbish. Restructure. Uh, yeah. The, the structure that there is, but... It's it's services. Yes. But um, it, it's a quite new issue. It, it's an old issue, but the proposal is new. Um, we are working on it. We, we, we need a lot of money. <laughs> okay, what four words would you like to use to describe that? Words. So the first two words should be the. Um, the broader issue that it is. Yeah. So is it abandoned building or abandoned spaces? Yeah, no, no, it's abandoned. Yeah. So you want to do a re reusing spaces yeah. as the first two words, and then bike center? Yeah. OK? Sport re and bike, yeah. Reuse, space, sport, center, OK? Sport center, OK, great. No, not shopping mall. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I have blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah to say, but I'll hold it. <laughs> okay. So the others from Turin, you, you, also, you all have the individual ideas? No, no, They are building a shopping mall. <laughs> 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 exactly. Because we are here for the money. We don't want to give you a thoughts about the community. So, um, we. Uh, in San Salvario, which is a central area in Torino. And um, we, first of all, we went to the different um, infrastructures and services, and there's basically everything. There's even maybe a little bit too much in terms of restaurants and bars and so on, but it's great to have many different places where you can eat any time of the day, uh, shops where you can buy food, uh, any time of the day, and it's, there's also services for small businesses such as pocket popping and boxing uh, uh, and all that. You know, and it, in your home office. It's a multicultural area where several religions and culture and very different cultural and ethnic backgrounds are represented. So uh, it's a very pleasant place to live in. Uh, also, there are services like banks, such as banks and public transport, which are very convenient. Now, the big problem that we have is the, uh, the, the quality of life of the residents is badly affected by pollution. Too many cars, basically, running around. Because San Salvario is um, encircled by two main uh, streets in Torino, like Corso Vittorio and Corso Massimo. And because the, of the Italian habit of using the car too much, you know? And uh, the other problem is the problem of the, uh, like, uh, sound pollution, if you want to do it. Uh, so the noise and the, you know, the, which sometimes makes the residents uh, a little bit nervous. So if we should identify a need is for, you know, something that would actually solve these problems and, um, 
basically reducing the, the number of the cars coming to San Salvario and circulating around San Salvario. How this can be done through uh, implementing um, a mobility project, so we can actually, we could actually get a consultancy by Mr. Infunti, and creating uh, awareness among the people, but especially um, incentivating the use of alternative means of transportation, like bicycles, or you know, if you have pedestrian streets, people can walk. So I think it's you know the the, the main issue there is um, how do we uh, you know go around and uh, look places without using the car, without affecting, without making too much noise, without without making mm -hmm. pollution, and therefore making it a much more pleasant place to live in. Well, the kind of business is actually, as I said, you know, it's uh, mobility, man, you know, providing mobility, kind of mobility management, uh, mm -hmm. getting more bikes. There's really some bike uh, um, uh, sharing service, but it's not enough. So then we, you know, we do you have some lanes? more of that. Of right lanes, they are there, or no? Mm -hmm. to be no. The idea would be, I mean, if the the council would actually listen to to an association or to uh, group of people to organize a mobility plan where all these things will fall in place and then there will be some business done on the side by renting bikes or uh, also organizing walking tours perhaps or, or whatever in, in the area so as to incentivate it and also either putting like a 30 kilometer an hour zone so that people really have to go to, to slow down when they go there so they use the pollution mm -hmm. or to, to close the area altogether to cars which are not uh, residents cars. Mm -hmm. So and keep the use of the car to a minimum, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would be your four words for that? This pro pollution? Yeah. Mobility. 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 I, I, I put down eco mobility. Quality of life. Quality of life to me is one So eco mobility yeah. quality of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because this is a big problem for the people living there, and a lot of people are moving mm, out, yeah. out of the area because not because they don't like the area, but because of the you know the, the, pollu the pollution, yeah, yeah, sound and air yeah, pollution, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see that uh, we are running out of time, and because the goal of the day was to to stick to the schedule. And I would still like you all to present. My suggestion would be now to present shortly and focus only on question three. And uh, when you present it, you name the idea with four words. Name the, the social issue and your idea, okay? So let me um, make more than that. One Saturday, after we get one Saturday, the last uh, survey, the next one. Uh, do you want to? Yes. Do you repeat? Uh, yes. Can you present the third, the third question? Yeah. And uh, tell your social issue. Yeah, San Salvario we have uh, Porta Palazzo. Porta Palazzo is a, uh, have a, a real problem with uh, the real integration because we are an area with a uh, multicultural area uh, and uh, the, I don't know, the, the positive is uh, uh, we have a, a market, uh, an app near uh, social housing uh, uh, you know, uh, but the problem uh, is the, the, the real integration. Yes. At the moment, I don't have a solution okay, but how because it's a big problem. And um, I suppose the money is a uh, good thing, but uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I think that's what can also happen in the real life. Thank you. Thank you so that people know the problems, but they don't necessarily have a solution, okay? And so the question is, what do you do? Yes.
we obviously uh, let the person say what uh, he can say until this point and uh, leave this process to him to come up with the idea at the later stage. No, yes, it's, it's a good example, I mean, uh, Torino and maybe, because we have to, it's a big city and we, we live from different uh, neighborhoods, mm -hmm. so just a way of to, um, fragment the, the city and try to understand uh, what's happening in your network. And also it's interesting to see that in some neighborhoods, um, the problem of one neighborhood is the solution for another. Mm. For example, like if, uh, if you heard it before, in San Salvador there's a, too much noise, uh, too much, uh, we call it movida, so a lot of um, a bar and local and everything, but in another part of the city there's a lack of these resources. So, I mean, it's also a good exercise maybe when we work uh, with the young people, we will find it because we are going to work with the um, group that maybe we have to split in a small group, but they are going to work with the, in the same area, yeah. a very close area. So maybe the, the, the problem of the business the, uh, they found for, for one issue could be also problem or solution for another. That's right. So it's, That's point. it's nice to yeah. split and then try to, to put it. Yeah. And remember, with this exercise, when we do this exercise, it's called focus conversation, by the way, in, in the middle. Um, we are talking about your local area. We're not talking about the whole city. So this is not the point to try to embrace everything, but really specify what's your district like. And then, by fragmenting this, as you see, you see problems opportunities. You might also give each group at the beginning one big sheet of paper, and then they put a, they leave a space at the top. They write all of their ideas and the, the process in the bottom, and then you go back and label it with your four words at the top. And then you leave a little room so when people in other groups have ideas that they would like to contribute. They're on the wall later, and people can add post-it notes with suggestions and ideas. So if time didn't permit discussion, then there's still a channel in which other people can contribute to that discussion, but on a board in writing. Is that clear? So just use big stickies and little post-its, and everybody can put their ideas on those pieces of paper later. OK? Okay. Shortly introduce context and problems. Uh, so this is Novello. It's a small village uh, uh, in uh, a rural area of Italy. Um, there are 1,000 uh, uh, people there. So um, um, even if it's small, there is a life. So we have school, sports area. Uh, the municipality is. Uh, very good, it's interesting in social problems, uh, so we are happy for this. <laughs> but um, the bigger, biggest problem, in our opinion, is mobility. Um, because um, we have no trains, but all, only buses, and we have only one bus uh, three times a day and this bus uh, go to only to Alba, a local town, but not, for example, to Turin or other uh, bigger towns. And uh, so we think all our problems, such as the closeness of, uh, of people, uh, in particular old people, and also uh, less exchange uh, opportunities for young people, uh, are linked with this problem of mobility. So Massimo, uh, will explain um, you the possible solution. The final solution is uh, our smart mobility uh, on-demand service. So we tackle two problems at a time. From one side, we have a drink and drive, very common drink and drive problem, which we will tackle through 
training for these people who were coaching drink, driving while drink, while drunk. Uh, and instead of going to jail uh, or getting a very high fine as it's foreseen, we will do a, an alternative training for them in mobility. And on the other side, we will also do training for drivers. And the business for at the end of the day will be young drivers who will uh, offer a mobility solution for people in the villages. So a cheap van which will move people around. Yeah. This is really something we are going to do. So it's a <laughs> Sorry? Who pays for it? Yeah. Who pays for it? Yeah. Yeah. How about the drunk fines? Sorry? How about the drunk fines pay for it? <laughs> the drunk drivers pay for it. Yeah. No, that's true. Apart, seriously, instead of paying a fine, they give time. So every 200 euros is one day. So they spend like one month in social services. So we have a lot of human resources. Plus, we have a startup fund for the training, and the drivers will be paid by partly by public services because this will replace the three buses a day, and partly by users. And the government agrees to not take the cash for the. No, that's that's already uh, an already. existing thing. Yeah, yeah. You can convert the fine into work. Wow, it's just slavery. And, and, and you achieve this with the uh, government? Or? No, no, this is already foreseen. I mean, usually they are doing social services like painting uh -huh. gardens or refurbishing things. But we want to d divert that to, to driver's education. How cool is that? Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. The forwards. The forwards. The forwards. The forwards. Maslow, reconnecting people through smart mobility. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that about it? The for your forwards? Do you want to switch anything? Smart mobility? Yeah. Reconnecting, reconnecting could be, yes. Yeah. People or reconnecting community through smart mobility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Right, then we have uh, the next group, which is very unique group because it's international group. <laughs> so, uh, so people... They met uh, you. Yeah, it's Europe. So you worked together uh, with your examples from the countries, Romania, Slovakia, so Germany. Did you find any similar, similar problems, issues, or maybe there is one thing? Like in, in this uh, part of mm -hmm. lot similar. Of course we didn't find. <laughs> 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 That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we discussed your local case. Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So can you share with us? The idea. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, in this case, I will tell, tell my idea. Uh, for example, uh, my uh, town is a small one, and uh, uh, there are a lot of coffee shops for uh, young people. A lot of coffee shop, coffee shops, but uh, there are for uh, for older people. And uh, uh, this is my idea. Eventually, I I saw it in Budapest that uh, could be a solution. For example, um, personally I uh, love books uh, mm -hmm. very much and uh, it would be an idea um, to make a coffee shop um, with a bookshop all together. Yes, you know, um, for, for older people to meet there, uh, to read and uh, to Drink a coffee for, for talk or for something like that. In this case, we can talk and you can come to Berlin because there's uh, <laughs> there uh, are uh, libraries where you can get there are the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah book uh, the word here. Mm -hmm. This is my idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So. Uh, the <laughs> issue my community where I live is tackling is the old road that is in a very bad state and hasn't been reconstructed for more than 20 years, as far as I remember. And the potential idea to make constant pressure on town officials. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, there are, there are, um, there are other issues like that the neighborhoods don't know each other that well and they 
could have been in a better relationships, which a community center could solve, of course, uh, but there's no space where to help for there's just no space for community center in my neighborhood. So what's your idea in four words? From social issues to... Open an asphalt company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's not an issue that couldn't really be solved because the, the town has this machine that is able to recycle an old asphalt and to make a new road, mm -hmm. uh, we just have to push more. So, um, mm. and here's the question: What do you do as a trainer if a yeah. participant has mm -hmm. the idea which he thinks uh, cannot be solved? Uh -huh. No, I don't mm -hmm. think. I think he thinks it can be solved. It it's can. just a timing issue. So I, I named it old road new paths so you have this old road and you want to get a new way to to make it a priority because that's all the thing is that you have the resource and the people just don't think it's a priority you know my jeweler cut off my red wedding ring because he thought i shouldn't have a wedding ring that doesn't fit my old finger right but on his finger it's empty because he is not making time to resize his own wedding ring. Yeah? This is an example of what always happens. Other people should do what I say, but I'm not going to do what I know needs to be done. So you have to figure out how to hold up that mirror to the local officials and get it moving. What motivates them? What causes them pain? Not getting reelected. So instead of threatening them, right, you have to figure out a way that they see an easy path to an old problem that's going to get them more well loved in their community. Yeah, instead of saying, we're going to hound you the heck out of you and badger you until you do what we want you to do. That bullying, it won't work. But, hey, Look at this problem. Here are three ways to solve it. Can you make it a priority? Which one hits all the right buttons for you to get reelected? You know? So you can't just say use the re recycled thing because that's only one path to helping that old road. So I just think you, oh, you should never have, or hmm, if you need another person in power, you have to leave space for them to co-create the idea. So sometimes it's good to have the full cycle idea and see how to do a turnkey and solve the problem. And other time it's really important to leave space so the idea can be developed by all the stakeholders and they have a role and then they have a buy-in. For example, this case and the case of uh, these groups, they are not necessarily business ideas, no? They are more active citizenship. And in my opinion, this is fine as well. I mean, if they are entrepreneurial in the way they want to change the city, it's, it's good, okay? But within there, you can always find different ideas for social enterprise. Yeah. So what I didn't say before, which is key terms that will free you up to hold the conversation and reframe it for everyone, because which is, your, I think, your key job, one of the key words is when you have a social activism idea, mm -hmm. it's called scaffolding. You know when you're in construction and you have to build support structures while something is under construction? It's called scaffolding. Well, that's the same kind of term used when you can have a project that has multiple layers of opportunities for public-private partnerships which can spur uh, some new social enterprises in the, in, as an offshoot okay. of that idea coming to fruition, so. Okay. We have three more examples. Hmm? Three more examples from three countries. Should I? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just have to go back to the issue, but... Um, 
Our potential idea is a cultural kiosk because we live in a district where um, there's instead of Aldi there's no shop. So it's only a sleeping place for people. And a few weeks ago there was one night when seven bikes were stolen out of my house at once and um, we have a mixture from Polish and German people in the street. So then every time, because it's also close to the border, there comes this mistrust that, okay, it were the Polish guys because they only have a post box to work in Germany and uh, maybe they make uh, two keys and give it to another guy and then, so there's a big mistrust at one side and on the other side no resources to buy easily everyday stuff and also no meeting point, no bar and nothing. And so we connect all this, like uh, having a cultural kiosk for, as a meeting point and as a point where to buy easy things and have a coffee. And maybe ne next year we will start the first um, German-Polish um, bike days in Gerlitz, so bike festival. Maybe we will try it, but mm -hmm. hopefully my team will also be on board. <laughs> so that's what we really do. So cultural kiosk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tackling uh, intercultural issues. Yeah. Connecting the bikes. Connecting Alright. So I know it's uh, getting a bit long, and I know that the lunch is served, but we want yeah to, to, to give you also the opportunity to present. And that's Croatia and then Italy. Yes. So you did uh, some yeah. real mapping. Yes. <laughs> well, we have we have real map, so we did. Uh, and this and is by the way how you can also approach this exercise. Well, you don't have uh, city maps, and then you just give people this to yeah. save uh, yeah. time, and they um, yeah they circle the area. And yes, we analyzed, uh, we analyzed the, the problems in, in Zagreb. All these red, uh, red uh, dots or red mm -hmm. marks are problem areas. We are, uh, we are now uh, right here. That, that's, the, that's the center of Zagreb. And for, for instance, let's start here. Uh, this, these are really, you are, you are walking every day uh, uh, through this street. Mm -hmm. And you, you notice all these empty shops and empty, empty uh, spaces that used to be really uh, full developed before mo uh, malls, uh, games, and uh, uh, all, all these uh, small uh, small shops uh, uh, are closed. Uh, another uh, area is a bit outside of, of town. That's a market uh, full of em empty business spaces. Uh, then there is there is another area of uh, Zagreb trade uh, trade uh, fair. <coughs> which is really seldom uh, used mm -hmm. and we concentrated uh, on uh, these two two issues and uh, for, for the one for this market uh, the opportunity uh, could be uh, to give the uh, possibility to young entrepreneurs uh, space for, for their for their um, uh, products and services where they can uh, uh, sell them uh, temporarily. Uh, uh, they, they could start uh, with the table, then with the, with the kiosk, uh, and then when they when they develop, grow, they, they can uh, get a store there. Uh, and another one, this uh, this uh, briefly this is other trade fair uh, space. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> we, we would like to uh, try to, to uh, solve the immigration uh, uh, problem, and we, we would uh, host uh, immigrants there. Uh, with with the, uh, the condition would be really families, full full uh, families who who would uh, who would get the possibility for a job. We would we would select what kind what kind of uh, uh, what kind of uh, talents or uh, qualifications they have and, and would uh, give them uh, job possibilities uh, and and housing the job and um, happy happy home. Mm -hmm. uh, 
that's in in short yeah this surplus of real estate uh, sold 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 by by this ideas You came up with several. Huh? Yeah, several. Very no, not well <laughs> de developed ideas. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mountain area. Yeah. Okay. Some. <laughs> Who your brothers? Oh. <laughs> this is our uh, province, the Pune, and we have uh, three. Our three sides, the gap sides, the other side. As you see, we have uh, a lot of um, things cultural, agricultural, uh, food, uh, because uh, in this uh, valley we have um, a lot of uh, people uh, working in the sector of uh, agriculture or uh, cultural sector or uh, um, something uh, linked to nature. So, uh, our idea is to build a sort of app and uh, Side to collect all the offers of this uh, territory and to meet uh, um, all, all the people on, on this site, uh, people uh, that want to buy something of uh, food, uh, typical food of this, uh, this area, uh, people who want to take a ride on the natural uh, uh, routes of this, uh, this area, people that want to uh, drink uh, good water because we have two important. Uh, source of water in this, in this valley. Uh, so it's a, uh, a method, a sort of method to uh, collect all the offers and then on the other hand to offer um, with, uh, with an app, for example, with the, the help of information technology, uh, transport to reach this point because with the public car, for example, for car sharing in general, you can offer the method to reach the point you can offer something, sell something in this point, for example, food, for example, cultural activities, or sport activities. sports activities. We have a lot of sport activities in the natural, linked, all linked with the natural uh, uh, in general terms, but the sport activities, uh, ride uh, with the horse, for example, uh, rivers, skiing. Uh, skiing. So uh, our proposal is this to um, which to catch all possible offers in this territory and to try to organize them, visit it or something like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Yeah, you want your four words that I grabbed or you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I put uh, mountain tourism sportscape. Yes. Yeah. Sportscape. Scape. You know, like landscape? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sportscape, yeah. All the more. Right. Yeah. We, um, can I finish with this exercise? Um, in your uh, exercise book, uh, you will find uh, the exercise which is called Focus Conversation. That was the. Um, prototype of it. It's a little bit um, differently worded, but the idea of this exercise is to, uh, for the first time, think really about concrete cases. And these concrete cases we want in the local community. It's not anymore something um, you're only uh, concerned about, your own identity, personality, that's digging, diving deeper into the community. Um, and the last question about the potential idea would lead you as a trainer to the, second, uh, to the next uh, section, on the next slot, which would be uh, how do you make this idea, this idea, that idea, those ideas, how do you make them to be real opportunities for what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So we started uh, gently and uh, slowly with the thinking first reflecting individually, and then we go uh, <coughs> and uh, then we make it even more and more concrete, which will be done after lunch. Mm -hmm. My uh, only question is now about this exercise is a short feedback. What, what do you see useful and maybe how would you um, make it differently? Because 
uh, my theory is that yeah, it was a bit long. But uh, what did you? S how did you feel? Was it interesting? I thought it would be useful for young people who are doing the course that maybe don't think they have an idea, don't think they can mm -hmm. contribute mm -hmm. to anything in their community. So doing it as a group and looking at their community and coming up with ideas, I think that can be and that's how really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it helps uh, before split them in group to, um, to say them clearly what are the steps. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we lo uh, lose a lot of time just trying to draw perfectly the streets, you know, doing the map. Mm -hmm. I think doing the mapping is, is not as much as I mean, you can do it just get two, three lines, whatever. The, the important is to, is, is to think uh, mm -hmm. about uh, where the resources, where are the opportunities, where are the issues, and what we can do. Mm -hmm. So, to have this clear meaning. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. A question. Don't have the solution. <laughs> we did before a very, very nice and that is too much to do the exercise of mind mapping. It's possible to make a link with this step and the other one, how could we do it, how are the possibilities to do it? Because I went through the idea opportunity exercise, yeah. which is next. Okay. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Comments? <laughs> no, I, I think it takes time, this exercise. It's the same like the city trip, the city tour, where you see what is there. But I think to, to localize ideas and to, to bring it to feet on the ground, where where you are, yeah. where are you working, where are you changing things, it's so essential for every yeah. social yeah. business. Yeah. So yeah. even if it takes time, you, you have to do it. Otherwise, it just would be I'm some construction from your brain, yeah. Yeah. like, oh, connecting this That's and this and this. But when you have it in the streets, then you also see that you can connect different problems or different resources with problems, and then it gets really mm -hmm. yeah, localized. Yeah. That's good. I suppose um, for me, the emphasis on it being the, the very, very, very pinpoint start of something that's much bigger, um, and that it doesn't, like as Everton, the, the speech would be, that it doesn't end this conversation. So just because some ideas might seem a bit more developed than others, that uh, they're actually all starting some kind of dialogue. Um, I think um, I'm, I'm curious now how to facilitate, um, <laughs> I'm not to, uh, to point you out, but I'm really curious to think about how um, I, I felt that it was really, really well, well um, discussed, like you need to give that space, because that, that could have been like, okay, so you're gonna ask the mayor, okay, so we'll move on to the next one, but it was to try and actually give that space, because that's where the really rich, um, innovative ideas come from, when you think there's no solution, and then you spend the time to really think, actually, there's a, a huge solution that people have just never thought of, or there's a huge development that, that's potential here. Um, I'm just I'm really curious of like how, because I, I, I would actually say that, that it's more likely that there be, um, yeah, that there be more of those ideas coming forward rather than the, the defined, we're definitely going to set up a, a bike shop and this is definitely going to happen. It's going to be more kind of raw ideas which have a lot more to work with. And the a potential way to continue this uh, would be to go into smaller groups and ask questions. Mm -hmm. Because when you have the ideas, then you also have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And the questions also can come from your peers. And this is a way, uh, I guess, also to involve the others into thinking with the, those who create the ideas. Okay, anything else on that? I just brief, brief. Uh, the, the fact that uh, I appreciate it a lot, I think it's uh, very generative as an exercise. My only doubt, which uh, we should find a trick to solve, is that in, even in the small groups there are dominating idea or ideas for one person in the group which are, say again, smart mobility, the app, 
the velodrome, th things which I've heard already myself. Uh, how do we manage people to have a say, not to say, okay, it's his idea, okay, I should like, like his idea is better. Yeah, yeah or uh, I let him or speak, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. We should have a... There, there's an easy way to do that. Before you guys start talking about the idea, you, you can fold it into little pieces of paper. And everybody has to fold a piece of paper, and then you pull. And then everybody gets a turn, mm -hmm. you know? And then each idea gets written down with related uh, development. Okay. But no one makes a choice there. Because remember, everything builds. So we will revisit backgrounds to dis discover the idea versus the opportunity of the ideas generated by yourself on the two activities you did, plus this group one. Because then you, you have to, tomorrow or by the end of the day today, your teams will have to start formulating what is the idea you're gonna pursue. Because you can't go into marketing, which is the next day or the next module, without weeding out what we're gonna focus on. Maybe Sylvia says, you know what boys, Love ya, but I want to work on my own idea. You two go off and do the mountain sportscape, and I want to do a, a walking path. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't know. So then it's fine that you always have great teams that may start together, but then they, based on their own background, their roots, their interests, their passion, what's going to move them forward, they have to then leave that group to, to do then it on their own. Okay. You know, so I think that that's what you need to know is that the module pace will get people to say, okay, now I have to make a decision. Yeah. So thank you everyone. Uh, that was real time exercise, by the way, yeah. where you can see and assess how much time it really takes, how much time it needs, and uh, the ways how to deepen it, like with questions, with uh, peer groups, and the ways to optimize it, because that's also absolutely essential and um, we